In late 2019, I started to feel depressed because I was spending too much time digging into climate change. This only got worse when the pandemic rolled around and I started to dive deep into the economic consequences that this was going to have on the world. I found myself struggling with things like motivation and especially my mood. I was a lot angrier for many, many months, but recently things have been getting a lot better. Today I want to show you how I was able to cure my depression and it all comes down to three things. Now, just a disclaimer, I am not a licensed therapist. I'm just some guy on the internet speaking about my personal experience. The form of depression that I had was not a very severe one. If you feel like you're in need of real help, I suggest you find a licensed professional to talk to. Now, the first thing I did was double down on the world's healthiest drug. What do I mean by this? Well, what if I told you that there's a drug that will make you feel energized, make you feel happier for the rest of the day, make you feel like you've accomplished something, make you sleep better at night, make you feel more confident, raise your self-esteem, and on top of all of that, this is a drug that has almost no negative consequences. If such a drug existed, surely you would want to take it every day to feel better, right? Well, it does exist. It's called working out. Working out is one of the most powerful keystone habits out there, which basically means if you stick to it, you'll end up adopting a bunch of other good habits such as eating healthier, which, when combined, tends to boost your overall sense of well-being. Now, of course, I know a lot of you are thinking, but the gyms are closed. Okay, just get a pull-up bar, put some textbooks in a book bag, and follow a home workout routine. There's plenty of good ones floating around online for free. Many of them don't even require equipment. Personally, I recommend checking out Jeff Nippert's channel. He really knows his stuff. But the most important thing you need to do is figure out exactly what you'll be doing during the workouts and then physically writing down when and where you're going to start. For example, I'm going to do Jeff's back routine tomorrow at 1 p.m. in my living room. The second thing I did that helped me overcome my depression was to go out of my way to talk to more people. And I don't mean just messaging, but actually jumping on the phone and having real conversations. A lot of my childhood friends have been trying to build businesses at home with all their extra free time, and I've been talking to them on a daily basis trying to lend a hand. Now, the reason this is so important is because having deep, meaningful conversations helps you feel fulfilled and serves as a healthy way to relieve stress. All of us are under more stress nowadays because of the current world situation, and this is causing us to turn to our bad habits such as drinking, smoking, and jerking as a way to cope. It's much healthier to cope by socializing. Pick up the phone and reach out to people that you care about, that you haven't spoken to in a while. I know some of you are a bit hesitant because you don't want to bother others, but I found that people are actually more receptive nowadays because we're all feeling lonelier than usual. Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, I don't have that many close friends. I can't be calling the same person every single day. And to some extent, you're right. And I would usually suggest that you go out and meet some new people. But we can't really do that because of the current world situation. Luckily, I have an alternative solution. You see, we've been building up an online community with hundreds of members on Discord. We're holding weekly events like book clubs, improv classes, debates, game nights, and much, much more. And it only costs $10 per month to be a part of it. Now, I want to stress something very, very important here. None of this money goes to me. We are redistributing the monthly donations back to the people in the server that are hosting the events, which will allow for even more events to be hosted down the line. Our goal is to have something going on every single day so that no matter what your schedule is like, you'll be able to find people to have deep and meaningful interactions with. The reason this is not free is simply because I believe in a concept called skin in the game. People take things more seriously when they have something on the line. There's less trolling in the server, and people are much more mature. You can learn more about our community by checking out our Patreon page, which I'll link to in the description box below. And finally, the third thing that helped me overcome my depression was finding hope. You need to genuinely believe that the future will be better in order for you to feel better. This was something that I struggled with a lot last year. My obsession with climate change caused me to become a doomer. Basically, I was convinced that we only had a couple of years left before things got really, really ugly, and this was extremely bad for my mental health. I found myself indulging in destructive habits more often because I figured, what's the point of maintaining perfect health when there's no future? Now, I'm sure most of you are not battling with thoughts of the apocalypse, but you're still probably worried about your financial future, your family, the meaning of this all, that sort of stuff, in which case, here's a way for you to find hope. You need to find or tell yourself a story that's believable, and then you need to take an active role in it. I know this is a bit hard to digest, so let me give you an example. You see, 
I was able to find hope. I was able to convince myself that the apocalypse wasn't guaranteed by stumbling across a project that seems like it could be a viable solution to climate change. And the more I looked into it, the stronger my belief in this story became, the more hope I started to gain. Now, I took this even further by taking an active role in this story. You see, I'm currently in the works of interviewing the lead researcher in order to spread awareness for this entire project. The fact that my actions will make a difference has given me even more hope and a very strong sense of purpose. Now, I have something to fight for. You need to find something similar. You need a story that you can believe in and take part of. And it doesn't have to be something as dramatic as saving the world from the apocalypse. It could be something humble like working on yourself or your business so that you can turn your financial situation around, so that you can support your loved ones, right? That's a common story that a lot of people have. You see athletes all the time that work their butt off so that they can buy their mom a home so she doesn't have to work anymore. Stories about saving loved ones from future suffering are very, very powerful. Now, if you're having a hard time figuring out what sort of story to tell yourself, I suggest you check out my video on the different forms of purpose in life, which I will link to in the description box below. If you can come up with a story that aligns with one of the nine forms of purpose that I cover in that video, you should be able to find a lot more hope. Alternatively, one of the best ways to spark hope is by working on a skill and seeing progress. This gives you hope that you'll be able to make use of that skill to prosper in the future, which is why this episode was brought to you with the help of the people over at Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes, topics ranging from things like copywriting to animating. Speaking of animating, I know a lot of you have been asking about how we make these videos. If you want to learn exactly how some of our artists are doing this, check out Animation for Illustration by Libby Vanderblog on Skillshare. It's a beginner-friendly course that will introduce you to many of the things we use for our videos. Skillshare is giving away access to their premium membership to the first 1,000 people who click on the link in the description box below. After that, it's only around $10 a month, which is incredible incredibly affordable compared to what you would have to pay to learn these skills in an in-person class. I hope this video was helpful. Besides that, guys, stay tuned.